Well, while foreign governments may be interested in cyber espionage, others are just wanting into our pocketbooks. Estimates are cybercrime could cost Americans between 25 and 100 billion dollars each and every year. When you add up everything from draining people's bank accounts to the theft of intellectual property. Now, no one is safe, especially an entity as big as state government. As OETA Steve Bennett shows us, protecting Oklahoma's digital security is one large undertaking. President Barack Obama made cybersecurity a top priority in his State of the Union address, noting that criminals are hacking into information systems to steal people's identities, while foreign governments and companies are stealing corporate and government secrets. Now our enemies are also seeking the ability to sabotage our power grid, our financial institutions, our air traffic control systems. We cannot look back years from now and wonder why we did nothing in the face of real threats to our security and our economy. Mark Gower is the head of information security for the state of Oklahoma. Gower says hackers are constantly trying to exploit holes in computer information systems. The state network is always under attack. Um, we can pretty much assume that someone is always testing the limits, someone is always testing the boundaries and testing our systems. Hackers are also sharpening their skills, making it more difficult to uncover attacks. When they try to disguise their activity, uh, it looks more legitimate in today's environment. So we have to stay well trained, have to have our technology up to the toppest level that we can do, and then be able to identify these through all of our proactive measures as possible rather than reactive. To combat the threat, Oklahoma has created the State Security Operations Center. Experts here watch over Oklahoma's information network, looking for evidence of hacking and information theft. Gower says the center provides protection to more than 80 percent of state computers. So that we brought everybody up to a basic level of security where those endpoints have antivirus, any malware, any spam, and what is called intrusion detection, intrusion prevention on the actual system itself. And then those systems then report their activity back to the state security operations center so we can identify behaviors and attack vectors and signatures. Combating those attacks has become a growth industry in Oklahoma. Colleges and universities are offering courses in cybersecurity. Dr. Cheryl Hale is co-founder of the Cybersecurity Education Consortium, or CSEC. And the primary goal of that consortium is really to create a cadre of highly skilled cybersecurity specialists. Students don't necessarily have to have a background in computers. Francis Tuttle Technology Center in Oklahoma City offers courses in cybersecurity and continuing education for instructors. Greg Porter is an instructor there. Uh, you need to have an analytical mind. You have to be able to solve problems. If you like solving problems, this is the right field for you. Uh, I love solving problems and, and figuring out how things work. Uh, but as far as a, a, a strong background, not necessarily. Keeping ahead of the bad guys is always a challenge. That's why Porter and other instructors take classes themselves to stay up on new developments in cybersecurity. For every person that's trying to secure systems, there's probably a thousand people trying to get in. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's kind of like keeping out the barbarian hordes, you know, you're, you're on manning the, the walls. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is a challenge. Don Lawrence is an instructor at Tulsa Technology Center. He says continuing education is vital. Because as cybersecurity gets good, so do the hackers. And essentially, as they get one step on us, we have to come back and, and increase the game as well. So, so it's always going to be moving back and forth. Cyber attacks can be very sophisticated, but systems can also be compromised by simple means. Organizations have been hacked by dropping a CD or a thumb drive where someone will find it and plug it in to see what's on it. That was the way that the Iranian nuclear facility was penetrated, was that essentially a flash drive was left that the engineers plugged into their systems and compromised the entire Iranian nuclear facility based on the fact that somebody left that Stuxnet virus, that Stuxnet worm, on a flash drive. The concern for most Oklahomans isn't terrorists or foreign governments. It's criminals who are after personal information or hackers who take over home computers to create an army of zombie machines. A lot of these criminal organizations are actually running botnets of 
home consumers' computers to attack businesses and, and government entities. So you actually play a, a part in our national security just by keeping up your, your, uh, your computer at home. While there's no way to guarantee you won't be hacked, there are steps you can take to lessen the chances. Security experts say using a firewall and installing and updating antivirus software is the best way to prevent your personal computer from becoming a target for hackers.